गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज़ कंप्यूटर मेमोरी एज इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट कंप्यूटर मेमोरी बट स्टिल सम पार्ट्स आर रिमेनिंग सो द रिमेनिंग पार्ट्स आर गवरिंग इन टू दिस लेक्चर सो द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ कंप्यूटर मेमोरी एज दीज आर सम पिक्चर्स रिलेटेड टू कंप्यूटर मेमोरी सो एज यू कैन चेक दिस डाइग्राम so this is basically one diagram which is uh, depicted uh, the computer memory so computer memory is of two types so, the first one is primary memory and the second one is secondary memory in case of primary memory two types of memory is there the first one is ram and the second one is rom so these both of the memory comes under the primary memory as uh, these both of the memories are required for functioning the computer that is why it comes under the uh, primary memory so don't get confused if in any any of the book it is written that uh, rom is one kind of secondary memory basically rom is required for the basic functioning of the computer that is why it will come under the primary memory so in case of primary memory there are two types of memory that is ram and rom and uh, uh, and further these two types of memory can be divided into some of the types so uh, ram is further divided into two types of memory uh, into two types that is sram and dram as sram stands for static uh, random access memory whereas uh, dram stands for dynamic random access memory and uh, this rom rom stands for uh, read only memory so this rom is also divided into uh, some categories that is mentioned below and in case of secondary memory it's just like the additional memories which you can add into your computer systems like hard disk which you can add if you want to increase the size of the memory then obviously you can increase the size of the uh, secondary memory uh like uh, with the help of hard disk even though ssd then compact disk that means cd is there cd is one kind of secondary memory then floppy disk even though the concept of floppy disk has been uh, now this option is not available uh in nowadays we just use the concept of uh, hdd pen drive etc so these all terms comes under the secondary memory now come to the topic that is primary memory primary memory is also known as volatile memory why it is volatile uh, like primary memory so this is one kind of internal memory of the computer as ram and rom both form the part of primary memory uh you can't say that in case of primary memory all the terms all the types will be volatile so in case of ram ram basically comes under the uh, volatile memory because volatile means temporary memory whereas rom is one non volatile memory because rom uh, the data which we store in case of rom is permanent so that is why ram is a kind of volatile memory means temporary memory whereas rom is a kind of non volatile memory means permanent memory okay so the primary memory provides main working space to the computer and the following terms comes under the primary memory of the computer that is ram and rom so first of all you just have a look uh, or you just check the definition of ram as uh, this ram stands for random access memory so this is one kind of internal memory of the cpu for storing the data or and the program and program results so basically all the work all the processing uh, which is uh, which is being done with the help of computer so or the current program or the current processing is done with the help of this uh, ram okay so it is read and write memory which is stores the data until the machine is working and as soon as the machine is switched off then the data will be removed so this is one kind of ram means random access memory and uh, if we talk about the accessing time in case of ram so i can say or we can say that access time in case of ram is independent of the address 
means each storage location inside the memory is as easy to reach as other locations and it takes the same amount of time and uh, the data which is stored in RAM can be accessed randomly but it is very expensive. So we can say that RAM is volatile because data is not permanently saved in case of RAM that is why we are saying that it is a kind of volatile memory and uh, volatile means data is stored in it, it can be lost when the power is switched off or if there is a power failure. Hence a backup as a backup you just use the UPS what is the full form of UPS that is uninterruptible power system so you can use UPS so that the uh, so that uh, the power failure cannot be caused so um, uh, it is often used with computers means this UPS is often used with PCs personal computers and uh, RAM is small both in terms of its physical size because if you check or if you compare this RAM or the primary memory with secondary memory then obviously the physical size is low even though the amount of data which it can be hold is obviously very low so uh, this is all about RAM now the types of RAM so if we talk about the types of RAM, then there are two types of RAM. The first one is SRAM, means a static RAM. And the second one is DRAM, that means dynamic RAM. So just have a look uh, to the first type of RAM, that is a static RAM. So the word static indicates that the memory which retains its contents as long as power is being supplied however data is lost when the power gets down due to the volatile nature but SRAM chips use a matrix of six transistors without any capacitor that is why uh, the data which we store in case of a static RAM uh, can be saved for a longer time and uh, you do not need to refresh the uh, memory or SRAM again and again uh, so that is possible only with the help of transistor because you are saving the data in case of SRAM or you are performing the data you are processing the data with the help of transistors so transistors require constant power so that is why you do not need to refresh the, pay, uh, refresh the process again and again so this is one of the advantage in case of SRAM. So if you will compare the SRAM with DRAM, then obviously SRAM is better because you do not need to refresh uh, again and again. That is why it is uh, better. But it uh, the power consumption is very high in case of a static RAM, even though it is very expensive and uh, but capacity, the storage capacity of SRAM is high. So these all are the characteristics of a static RAM as um, because of the extra space in the matrix SRAM uses more chips than DRAM for the same amount of storage space. So um, basically this depicts the uh, physical size of the SRAM and thus making the manufacturing cost higher. Obviously if you are using a uh, larger space then obviously the cost will be higher. So SRAM is used as cache memory and it is very fast access means uh, this DRAM is faster in comparison to DRAM but uh, as I have told you that it is very expensive and uh, there is uh, high power consumption so these are the disadvantages in case of SRAM. If I talk about the characteristics of a static RAM, then I can say that these are following are the characteristics of a static RAM. The first characteristics of a static RAM is that it has long life. It has long life and there is no need to refresh as I have told you and why there is no need to refresh because you are using or you are saving the data in the transistors and transistors require constant power. That is why there is no need to refresh and uh, that is why it is faster also and uh, it is used as cache memory so cache memory uh, performs or the function in cache memory is very faster 
then it is having large size but it is expensive and high power consumption is there so these all are the characteristics of a static ram now here come the uh, next concept that is of dynamic ram so dram stands for dynamic ram and uh, unlike the s ram it must be continuously refreshed refreshed uh, in order to maintain the data and uh, this is done by placing the memory on a refresh circuit that writes the data several hundred times per seconds because uh, this is one kind of dynamic memory so if there is any change then obviously you have to refresh the circuit and then you have to rewrite the data uh, so that is why and even though in case of dram you just use the uh, capacitor so that is why there is a need uh, to refresh again and again and uh, dram is used for most of the system memory because it is cheap and small and all the drams are made up of memory cells which are composed of a capacitor one capacitor and one transistor so that is why you have to refresh the memory again and again if i talk about the characteristics of dram then following are the characteristics of dynamic ram that the first characteristics is that it has short data lifetime and there is a need to be refreshed continuously then it is slower as compared to sram it is used as ram and uh, but it is lesser in size and uh, it is less expensive even though the power consumption is less in comparison to sram so these all are the characteristics of dynamic ram hope you have understood the types of ram that is sram and dram even though you uh, know the differences as i have told you the differences also so thank you everyone thank you so much